Top of the hour, let's get you a breaking update of what we are getting to know that uh, raids uh, that are being reported and searches that are being reported by the Enforcement Directorate at the residences, the office and the NGOs of Harsh Mandar. Harsh Mandar, who is a uh, former IAS official, uh, official and his wife, who are not set to be in India, uh, they are set to be abroad. But at this point, uh, these uh, searches that are taking place as what is being reported as of now, we're taking cognizance of the FIR filed by the Delhi police we are looking at the Enforcement Directorate that has now filed a money laundering case. Uh, Shavan, help us understand uh, these uh, searches that are taking place on part of ED. Well, in fact, the Enforcement Directorate is now carrying out searches as we speak at the residence the office as well as the NGOs of Harsh Mandar, who is an ex-IS uh, official. As we speak, uh, we are being told that uh, multiple teams of the Enforcement Directorate is carrying out um, uh, these searches, this is based on an FIR that was registered, or rather an ECIR that was registered by the Enforcement Directorate, based on the FIR that was registered by the Delhi Police. The Enforcement Directorate has now filed a money laundering case. In fact, the NCPCR had directed uh, the Delhi Police to file an FIR against um, Harsh Mandar's NGO Center for its Equity Studies and two children home, Umed Aman Ghar and Khushi Rainbow Home. NCPCR had basically accused uh, Harsh Mandar's NGO and officials of children home of uh, financial irregularity. In fact, the NCPCR had, NCPCR had also said that the administrative of the children home could not provide source and utilization of funds, and that's the reason why FIR was registered by the Delhi Police under various sections of cheating, forgery, misappropriation of funds. Right, so what is being said right now where this is regarding an FIR against Harsh Mandar's NGO Center for Equity uh, Studies and Two Children Home, uh, that is also under investigation where uh, NCPCR has accused Harsh Mandar's NGO and officials of Children Home of certain financial irregularities. Uh, uh, Shavan, if you can give more details uh, on what financial irregularities is the ED looking into? Well, Amita, just as I was just pointing out right now, this is purely on the basis of what the NCPCR had to say. NCPCR essentially in their their findings they came up and rather an allegation was basically leveled against Hashmander's NGO where they could not really identify the source of the funding and the utilization of their funds they could not explain. Now, that's what the NCPCR claimed. Based on these claims of the NCPCR, the Delhi police then basically filed their FIR. And taking cognizance of this FIR, the enforcement directorate has now basically filed a money laundering case. These are claims that have been made by the NCPCR, as I would like to underline. Uh, NCPCR had basically said the, the administrator of the children's home could not really provide the source as well as the utilization of funds. And that's why the FIR was basically filed under various sections of cheating, forgery, misappropriation of funds. And two of the husband's NGOs, Center for Equity Studies and two children's homes, Umed Aman Ghar and Khushi Rainbow Home, they are basically under this scanner. Right. So it was uh, in July when the NCPCR had told the Delhi High Court that it recommended action against two children homes linked to the activists after finding various violations and uh, discrepancies on part of the management. We're looking at the ED now also conducting searches. Uh, thanks very much, Shaban, for joining us.